So, hello everybody. I was in the previous videos testing and making the TensorFlow trading bots. Uh, so, let's now look at the statistics. Uh, this is my made uh, website, which is trader.ai coinpal, and uh, these numbers are not yet public because I decided I want to test them before, uh, let's say, publishing it, publishing them. And uh, so to tell you again what exactly is TensorFlow, it's basically a neural network that uh, learns uh, the, the market. I showed this in pre previous videos, the idea behind it, and I just wanted to do a test. So now I have test. The bot has actually worked for uh, 18 days only on Ethereum market, Ethereum uh, USDT market uh, in spot trading to, uh, on Binance exchange and uh, now let's uh, let's go through a couple of statistical parameters that we have here now before to anybody before i want to i want to before we talk about this i want to just have a look at what exactly has happened these last uh, 14 days uh, let's look at daily chart so uh, as you can see uh, in this chart that it, it was it was not last 14 it was last 16 days uh, so as you can see in this chart last 16 uh, well let's like look at 18 18 days 19 days eventually the price was actually going constantly but but upwards and uh, let's look at uh, last 15 minutes because on the last 15 minutes, the, the, the TensorFlow made also uh, many trades. And how I saw it, it was starting, the TensorFlow was starting to buy three hours ago, somewhere around here. So the, the price fell down and the TensorFlow started to buy here. And it was just buying, buying like like 200 trades. It took two, no, 400 trades it took and the price went upwards. And, and then it made also some, some nice, uh, some nice profits. And on the historical chart, we can look at the last 24 hours, uh, wait until they load up. Um, these are other bots, but this is uh, on the last 24 hours, these are only the uh, TensorFlow bots. As you can see right here on the right side, it indicates that these are the TensorFlow bots. And on the last 24 hours, it made 462 trades. Uh, these are not live trades, this is simulation. Uh, with average profit of 1.5 1 dollars so uh, to me it, it indicates that there is some kind of a logic behind it and especially if it, if it has been working for the last uh, let's have a look when was the first trade made it's a little bit slow because so many trades like 6,000 and more trades so to me it indicates that there is some kind of a logic to it. There is, there are some kind of a patterns, and you can see the maximum open deals was 100 live. Although I think it's a little bit more, but still, it, 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 these are the statistical numbers here. And uh, let's just wait until the. Okay, so the first deal was made 17 days ago. So, eventually, the market was going upwards and upwards slowly, but still. Uh, we had 4,800 positive deals and 1,200 uh, negative deals. So basically, if we were not to lose, use any stop loss right here, then we would have only 6,000 positive deals because the market was going upwards. So uh, my conclusion is that it, there is some kind of logic to it uh, because uh, a couple of days ago uh, when I was looking only uh, when the market didn't move upward that fast, it was uh, 0 0.20 21 percent uh, uh, on a deal and now it's 0 0.40 percent on a deal so my conclusion is that i think by overall it is a profitable bot by overall it's a profitable bot and uh, and then 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 i will do some studies and some learnings for the tensorflow a little bit later again but 
what I wanted to show you is what you all can use on the trader trader.ai coinpal website trader.ai coinpal website this is free everybody can just log in and use it for free uh, uh, here is uh, I only on Ethereum on Ethereum market I implemented the prediction score of the AI uh, the TensorFlow uh, so what the uh, let's have a look at uh, 15 minute chart so uh, wh what what is he telling us right now it's it the AI is actually telling that we have a greater chance of a drop right here as you can see it is telling us that it's there's a chance of 62 percent uh, to be a drop and a 37 percent to be a price increase and as the the market is moving as the as the market is changing the prediction score changes uh, to different score so all the time it's having a, a certain uh, prediction score and what i learned from the tensorflow is that uh it's basically always 50 50 or something close to 50 50 but there are some moments like we had today right here when it's s it gets to boost 70 30 and i developed that when it's a 70 30 uh, chances then make buy start buying so it was buying every minute it was buying every minute it was buying buying and then it gathered up uh, 460 trades today and made them all positive with a 1.5 percent of average profit uh, so uh, what i what how this can be used later on is developing more complex tensorflow neural networks building up their more complex uh, building up them to have more overview of the market and uh, and then 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 then, then and then doing these studies and doing these uh, uh, trades uh, for all uh, for all markets for all markets not only ethereum like r like here which we are having but for all markets and, uh, and so yeah so uh, my overall conclusion is actually quite uh, quite quite positive because how you can also use maybe later i will develop it that if a uh, boost is greater than let's say 70 or 80 make a buy signal if the if the drop is greater than 70 80 uh, make a short signal uh, short up the trade uh, to go short or to go long so uh, my overall conclusion right now is positive but to be really certain of how it works and does it actually work uh, we need to uh, test it on uh, on uh right maybe your dog will start barking oh no it's okay so we we need to test it how it acts and reacts on a dropping market condition and then once uh, when those data are harnessed uh then we can uh, then we can uh, work on actual uh, uh like a decision uh, whether it's profitable or negative but the thing is what i want to tell you guys right now is that uh many 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 traders out there uh or especially with tensorflow uh they get the accuracy score of let's say 90 percent or maybe 50 percent 55 percent these scores do not matter at all these these scores uh, don't don't matter these scores are only valid for the backtesting data they are not valid for the forwarding uh for the forward uh, for the forward testing so basically on online uh, there are uh, many many people uh, that have their own tensorflow let's say algorithms or or something developed but they are uh, they are uh, wait uh, but they are valid only on backtesting as soon as you start sending them live they will have a completely uh, different uh, results uh, and especially with the ev evaluation tests on tensorflow as soon as you start wait as soon as you start uh, as soon as you start to you take some data then you evaluate them and then you uh, uh then you 
test them uh, on the same backtesting data like for example how many people do this is they take learning data and then take forward testing data well the idea is not bad but still that's backtesting still that still that's a backtesting and there is actually no difference if you take the backtesting data and then study and evaluate them on another backtesting data and let's say data sets there is no point of doing this uh, because they all are backtesting data and if you have learned this AI to be good at let's say all the backtesting data then uh, wh what's, what's the point of doing it from half of the backtesting data and then evaluating them on the same backtesting data I mean not, not the same but it was backtesting data, maybe different periods with the same type of backtesting data. I think it's no, it's no point of evaluating them. Uh, what I think is you learn it uh, on the all on the backtesting data, all or by parts doesn't matter, and then you evaluate them on the live, uh, live trading, uh, trading data. So, actually, the science behind uh, how you can actually test, backtest, forward test, uh, make the AI professional, the science behind it is is really, really a big, big challenge. So that's my conclusion about the TensorFlow. And let's have a look again at the statistics. Uh, last 24 hours, 300, and almost four four, uh, 400 trades, maximum simultaneously open was 35. Uh, average profit 1.54 seven day seven days uh, a little bit lower 14 days and there will definitely be periods when the AI will constantly just lose and there definitely will be the point of trading is how you come up uh, by average what is your average score what is your average uh, results and if we take all data it's a little bit slow because there are 6,000 trades it's, uh, it takes a little bit time to load up so and the numbers are here uh, these are not including commissions so basically the the software is telling that we would earn 25% uh, to our capital uh, additionally to our capital in the last uh, on the last uh, 18 uh, 19 days well i have a little bit of challenge in believing it but it still indicates that we are on the right track we are we are getting somewhere but to actually to actually manage these deals, you need you were to have uh, fourteen, fourteen thousand uh, dollars. You have to have in your account at least fourteen thousand. Let's say keeping it spare, twenty thousand dollars. You have to have it in your account to earn uh, three point five thousands. So, and uh, now let's get back to the website itself. So the website itself is uh, trader.aicoinpal, and uh, you can. You can just come here, log in, and use it for free. Especially the prediction tool, you can use it for free. Uh, only on e Ethereum and other markets, you won't see it here. And uh, and when the and when the uh, uh, when the TensorFlow bot will be ready, I will be publish it for rent, maybe for free. Uh, but people will be able to use it. We have other AI bots uh, here. But none of the no, none of them are like 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 you see here. Uh, there are a couple of trades and minuses, but none of them have the a uh, have the logic like the TensorFlow is having. So these are different types of uh, AIs. Uh, these are different types of AIs, and all of them statistics can be viewed and watched. And these other AIs are working for a half a year uh, already, so uh, they have greater statistics, and you can see their greater statistics. But TensorFlow is only the last almost 20 days, nothing more. So I think it's a little bit less for to have actual studies, but still, everybody you can watch, you can come here, you can study, and you can use those 
uh, those indicators you can use those statistics and you can you can study for them so that's it thank you for watching and enjoy your time